as we work more and more with these expressions, we need to make sure that um, we are providing what should be excluded from our domain. And the best way to think of that is, remember, you can't have anything over zero. That's undefined. So in order to find out what x needs to be, we cannot be, we're going to have to set the denominator equal to zero. And so for the first one, I'm going to add 5 to both sides, and this tells me that x cannot be 5. So if I ever had that and that was an answer, I'd have to remember to write x cannot equal 5. Um, over here on the right, we want to do x squared minus 25 equals 0. There's a couple ways to do it. The first one is you can see it's a difference of two squares. So you could actually have um, that equals to 0. And then you would set each one of your terms equal to 0 and solve. So that would give me that x cannot be 5 and x cannot be negative 5. Now, some of you may see it as x squared equals 25, and then you would take the square root of both sides. Uh, if you do that, make sure you remember to take the positive and the negative square root, so then x could not be plus or minus 5. Uh, whichever way you do is fine, just make sure you're consistent in what you do.